Today, I'm going to show you what's in my bag. There are many styles of bags that I use. I use book bags to like briefcase style bags to the original bags and cases that different cameras and lenses come in. But when it comes to big shoots, this is my uh, this is the this is the one I go for. It's the Pelican 1610. They come in all kinds of different styles, sizes, shapes, all kinds. But this is the model that really works best for me that I can get most of my equipment in. There are a couple different inserts you can use inside these Pelican cases, uh, like little sleeve type things like you use in many different types of bags and things, or this. This is like a foam, and I have a little piece here that I, whenever I pulled out to make room for all my different equipment, where to show you kind of how it works, and it's awesome, awesome stuff, where it just kind of peels away like that. So it's one solid piece uh, of foam. There's actually a couple layers here of solid pieces, but It'll be just like that, and then you can just pull it away just like that and to fit all your equipment exactly uh, around it so it doesn't move and transport. It's absolutely the best. I wanted to give you just a little bit of a closer view at how I have all the different things pulled out just enough, and it can go different depths. For example, my flash here, it goes way down to the bottom, whereas, say, uh, this, a teleconverter, it only goes down one little layer's worth. Now what you can, I'll show you here is how this pulls out and there's about three, I believe, of these uh, layers just like this. So you can pull them out so it can be different depths depending on the items and how big they are and how far down you want them to go. So what I have in this bag, this is basically what I have put together for a typical sports shoot, uh, basketball or something like that. So the cameras, I guess I'll just start off with that. In the corner, I have a D610 full frame camera, of course, with the battery grip on it. And then over here, a D7100 crop sensor gives you a little more distance, which is obviously always great to have when you're shooting longer sports, football, baseball, soccer, something like that. Start down here, I guess with the widest lens, I have a Nikon 14 to 24 millimeter wide lens 2.8. Over here, a 7200 Nikon f2.8. This is really the workhorse. Uh, any sport you shoot, you'll be using this. Doesn't matter if it's hockey, soccer, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, football, baseball, you'll be using a 7200 uh, at some point, 2.8. And then one of my more recent purchases is a, a Nikon 300 millimeter f2.8 as well. It, it, it was probably my main reason for getting the Pelican case um, because it's so large. Really none of my other bags would fit it really well, also holding my other stuff. So I just figured why not get one giant box um, to hold everything. With the lens hood on it, it's an older version, it's not one of the newer versions, but it works absolutely great for me. It's still super fast, super crisp, 300 millimeters. You obviously can't zoom on it because it's a prime lens, but you get all that back with the crispness and how tack sharp it is. I absolutely love this lens. I honestly don't know how I shot it before I bought it. Um, and then some of the things that I use not quite as often. Over here is a uh, two, um, two times teleconverter Nikon. Um, it's the third, TC20E, and the third version of it. I use that a lot for racing, um, whenever you're super far away, especially some of the road course stuff. Football, now it'll take a 2.8 and turn it into a 5.6, which hurts you, um, especially at night. So you can't really use it at night, but during the day, it's awesome. Over here, um, my Nikon Speedlight SB700. You don't use this a whole lot for actual action sports stuff because well, most places don't allow it. The, uh, especially the athletes, they don't want you to be flashed when they're you know, shooting a free throw or something. So you use this a lot for uh, press conferences and that type of thing. It's just always nice to have a, have a little extra light there in case you need it. This little spot here, I normally use for my either my GoPro or I put some extra batteries in there. And then this corner is for my uh, pocket wizards, the plus three. So I've got three of them in here and each uh, each has its own slot. I've got a, a cord here for it to connect it 
uh, for wireless shooting. Um, and I'll, maybe I'll make another video down the road on, on exactly how I use those. But that basically is in my bag for a typical sports shoot, um, really any other type of shoot. Now another big plus to these bags that I haven't really needed to use yet, but I'm sure I will soon, is so I left a space open here for another another body that hopefully I'll be getting soon. But if say I needed this spot here, I, I already showed you before how it didn't go down very deep. Well, I can say take this one, take this out. I can dig down a little square inside here, put this down in it, and my 300 will go right on top of it. And same goes for underneath my bodies, underneath my 7200, uh, underneath my 14 to 24. And basically what that does is it frees up a spot over here where you can put deeper things uh, that you may need. Again, I left room here for another body that'll fit nicely, but anytime, say another flash or more batteries, or who knows, anything that you may need, there'll be room for it. I think I'm gonna do another post soon uh, less about what's actually in the box and more about the features and the specs of the box. There's really too much to include in this post, so I think I'll probably do a different one um, later on down the line. It's really an awesome case. I absolutely love it. As I said, I bought it a few months ago, and uh, I'm so glad I did. Definitely, definitely well worth the price. Well, that's what's in my bag. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment below with any questions or message me, and be sure to subscribe for many more photography videos to come.